Greetings, developers. We're excited to announce that Convey now supports integration with Play Canvas. Let's get straight into the demo we've created using the Play Canvas platform. Hey, can you guide me around this place? Welcome to Castle Evercrest. I'm Convy, your guide for today's journey through history. This right here is The Chronicles of Evercrest, a magical book chronicling the castle's history. Let me know if you have any questions. If not, let's move on to the next location. Um, no, I don't have any questions. Please follow me to the eagle statue. This majestic eagle, carved from solid granite, is more than just a work of art. It's a symbol of our castle's strength and protection. You can try this project out following the link in the description. Play Canvas is an open source platform that allows you to create, edit, and test games directly in the browser without needing a complex setup. Furthermore, with WebGPU already in beta, you can achieve advanced graphics and higher performance, future-proofing your virtual development with Convey. You can add LLM-powered AI capabilities to your virtual characters inside your Play Canvas projects, allowing them to converse with you, naturally perceive their surroundings, and even generate actions, all within the browser. In this video, we'll guide you through building your Play Canvas project with the Convey SDK. We'll show you how to add a chat UI and other Convey components, import a Ready Player Me avatar to your scene, and finish up with how to add a Reillusion Actor Core character to your project. Now we'll quickly see how we can integrate Convey into your Play Canvas project. Before we begin, here's a quick overview of the Play Canvas SDK for Convey. Let's head over to the Convey documentation page, and here we'll head to the docs for the Play Canvas plugin. Click on the project link that's shown on the documentation page. For creating new Play Canvas projects, you can simply fork the Play Canvas template for Convey integration that we have shared and start building on top of it. Or you can simply follow the step-by-step -step guide in the Convey docs. Let's explore the project through the Editor button here. This will open up the SDK project. For ease of integration, you can just copy and paste all of the files here. Here's a quick hierarchy overview. In the root directory, you have Camera, Light, Plane, player object, which will have its own camera, and finally convey MPC and convey chat. Under assets, we have ammo.js, which is the physics engine that is imported automatically when used. We also have a skybox and a convey folder. Inside the convey folder, there's a chat UI and convey character with all the scripts that are needed. The character folder has a GLB file and animations. You can also head over to Settings, External Scripts, to see Convey's CDN, which basically ensures that a Convey client is readily available to the browser. Feel free to tweak the rendering in Skybox to your liking. Now let's start with a blank project. When you open up the editor, there's a default project we get from Play Canvas. Let's delete the cube and expand the plane. For your convenience, you can just copy and paste the plane we've shared, which already has the components for collision, render, and rigid body. For this tutorial, let's add the collision component. This will show you how to import the ammo.js file. Click on the component and the ammo.js file should get imported automatically. Let's also add the rigid body component. As you can see, this purple box is your collider and rigid body. We have tweaked the half extents to match the plane size. In addition, we'll make this static instead of dynamic, as it will not be moving. Now we can add a player, which will be us in the first person view. For that, we'll create a new entity and name it player. Now we'll need to add a rigid body and collision to the player as well and make it dynamic. Select the Capsule option as it's the most relevant to the character body. You can modify the rigid body settings to the values that we shared here for the best in-game experience, but feel free to play around with them to see the effects. Now let's add the script component here and create a script folder. 
You can now just go to the SDK and copy all the scripts. Select the player and add the first person movement script. Then press launch to run your Play Canvas project. Check to see if the first person camera is working properly. To add the convey character, go back to the reference project and copy the character files. Add the convgLB file, which already has a few preset animations added, such as idle and talking. Click on the convgLB file and select conv and just drag it into the scene. This will import the character. To add animations, select and add the state graph. And then let's add the idle and talking animations. Once everything is ready, we can attach the convey scripts. When done attaching the internal scripts, we'll need to add the external scripts. You can do that by heading to the project, then settings, then external scripts. Change the value to one and paste the URL to the external script that you can find in the project we've shared. Open the editor and add your API key and character ID, and then hit play. Quick side note, to get your character ID and API key, you can head over to the Convey Playground, then copy your character's ID and your API key to paste in the editor. To add the chat UI, you can directly copy and paste it from the project we've shared. Create an entity for chat UI and select the CSS asset and HTML asset. Relaunch the project to test it all out. As you can see, we now have the chat UI and the character in the scene. If you want to add custom characters, for example, a Ready Player Me character to the scene, you can start by heading over to the RPM website. To download the character with morph targets, copy the GLB URL. Then follow the instructions in the RPM documentation for getting the character with morph targets and the GLB file with Vizemes. Go to Blender and import the character you downloaded. Let's export as FBX so that we can upload it to Mixamo. Once we are done exporting, we can upload the character to Mixamo. Inside Mixamo, we can choose the idle animation for our character. Download the character without skin and set the FPS to 60. We'll repeat this process for the talking animation. Once everything's ready, upload the GLB and animation files to your project. Finally, let's bring our custom character with animations to the scene. Now let's see how we can add actor core characters to the scene. Select the character that you like from the actor core Reillusion website, then download the character files. You can select the animation you prefer from the Motion tab and then download it. You'll need to convert the FBX files that were downloaded into a GLB format for ease of integration with Play Canvas. To import Reillusion Actor characters, you'll need the CC underscore Blender underscore Tools extension for Blender, which is available via the link in the description. Once it's downloaded, open a new project in Blender and go to Preferences and install the extension here. Check both the options here. Press N to activate the toolbar, and here you'll see the CC pipeline. Import the character from here, and you should be able to see all the materials. You can play around with the material values to see their effects. Set the blend mode to opaque and shadow mode to alpha clip, and finally export it in the GLB format. Now we can upload the character to our Play Canvas project. It may take a few seconds to process the GLB file. Once it's done, you can drag and drop your characters into the scene and it should render. 
The animation files are already in FBX format, so you can upload them directly and they should just work. So this was all about importing actor core avatars to your Convey powered Play Canvas projects. The tour guide demo you saw earlier was built in a similar manner using actor core avatar and animations. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more Play Canvas related content. As always, come by our Discord for any questions or write to us at support at for collabs and business related queries.